I would rather live my life as if there is a God and die to find out there isn't, than live as if there isn't and to die to find out that there is. Blessed are the hearts that can bend, they shall never be broken. Those who lack the courage will always find a philosophy to justify it. A man's work is nothing but this slow trek to rediscover, through the detours of art, those two or three great and simple images in whose presence his heart first opened. Without work, all life goes rotten. But when work is soulless, life stifles and dies. Real generosity toward the future lies in giving all to the present. The myth of unlimited production brings war in its train, as inevitably as clouds announce a storm. Men must live and create, live to the point of tears. Every revolutionary ends up either by becoming an oppressor or a heretic. A taste for truth at any cost is a passion which spares nothing. It is not your paintings I like, it is your painting. He who despairs of the human condition is a coward, but he who has hope for it is a fool. Man is the only creature that refuses to be what he is. Against eternal injustice, man must assert justice, and to protest against the universe of grief, he must create happiness. Charm is a way of getting the answer, yes, without asking a clear question. Real nobility is based on scorn, courage, and profound indifference. There is but one truly serious philosophical problem, and that is suicide. By definition, a government has no conscience. Sometimes it has a policy, but nothing more. There is no love of life without despair of life. The gods had condemned Sisyphus to ceaselessly rolling a rock to the top of a mountain, whence the stone would fall back of its own weight. They had thought with some reason that there is no more dreadful punishment than futile and hopeless labor. The struggle itself towards the heights is enough to fill a man's heart. One must imagine Sisyphus happy. To correct a natural indifference, I was placed halfway between misery and the sun. Misery kept me from believing that all was well under the sun, and the sun taught me that history wasn't everything. Freedom is nothing but a chance to be better. An intellectual is someone whose mind watches itself. No cause justifies the deaths of innocent people. To be happy, we must not be too concerned with others. Nobody realizes that some people expend tremendous energy merely to be normal. Friendship often ends in love, but love in friendship, never. You cannot create experience, you must undergo it. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. You will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. Nothing is more despicable than respect based on fear. Autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. Beauty is unbearable, drives us to despair, offering us for a minute the glimpse of an eternity that we should like to stretch out over the whole of time. Basically, at the very bottom of life, which seduces us all, there is only absurdity and more absurdity. And maybe that's what gives us our joy for living, because the only thing that can defeat absurdity is lucidity. I know of only one duty, and that is to love. It is necessary to fall in love.
if only to provide an alibi for all the random despair you are going to feel anyway. The only real progress lies in learning to be wrong all alone. At any street corner, the feeling of absurdity can strike any man in the face. Alas, after a certain age, every man is responsible for his face. Some people talk in their sleep. Lecturers talk while other people sleep. Man wants to live, but it is useless to hope that this desire will dictate all his actions. Ah, mon cher, for anyone who is alone, without God and without a master, the weight of days is dreadful. We always deceive ourselves twice about the people we love, first to their advantage, then to their disadvantage. To know oneself, one should assert oneself. We used to wonder where war lived, what it was that made it so vile, and now we realize that we know where it lives, inside ourselves. There is no fate that cannot be surmounted by scorn. The need to be right is the sign of a vulgar mind. Without freedom, no art. Art lives only on the restraints it imposes on itself and dies of all others. A free press can, of course, be good or bad, but most certainly without freedom, the press will never be anything but bad. Without culture and the relative freedom it implies, society, even when perfect, is but a jungle. This is why any authentic creation is a gift to the future. Every act of rebellion expresses a nostalgia for innocence and an appeal to the essence of being. All great deeds and all great thoughts have a ridiculous beginning. Great works are often born on a street corner or in a restaurant's revolving door. Integrity has no need of rules. The evil that is in the world almost always comes of ignorance, and good intentions may do as much harm as malevolence if they lack understanding. But what is happiness except the simple harmony between a man and the life he leads? The welfare of the people in particular has always been the alibi of tyrants. A man without ethics is a wild beast loosed upon this world. In the depth of winter, I finally learned that there was in me an invincible summer. It is a kind of spiritual snobbery that makes people think they can be happy without money. We get into the habit of living before acquiring the habit of thinking. In that race which daily hastens us towards death, the body maintains its irreparable lead. There is the good and the bad, the great and the low, the just and the unjust. I swear to you that all that will never change. To abandon oneself to principles is really to die, and to die for an impossible love, which is the contrary of love. Heroism is accessible. Happiness is more difficult. There is in me an anarchy and frightful disorder. Creating makes me die a thousand deaths because it means making order, and my entire being rebels against order. But without it I would die, scattered to the winds. We turn toward God only to obtain the impossible. Truth is mysterious, elusive, always to be conquered. Liberty is dangerous, as hard to live with as it is elating. We must march toward these two goals, painfully but resolutely, certain in advance of our failings on so long a road. 
For centuries, the death penalty, often accompanied by barbarous refinements, has been trying to hold crime in check. Yet crime persists. Why? Because the instincts that are warring in man are not, as the law claims, constant forces in a state of equilibrium. There will be no lasting peace either in the heart of individuals or in social customs until death is outlawed. Why should it be essential to love rarely in order to love much? We continue to shape our personality all our life. If we knew ourselves perfectly, we should die. To govern means to pillage, as everyone knows. Only a philosophy of eternity in the world today could justify nonviolence. After all manner of professors have done their best for us, the place we are to get knowledge is in books. The true university of these days is a collection of books. I grew up with the sea and poverty for me was sumptuous. Then I lost the sea and found all luxuries gray and poverty unbearable. I was born poor and without religion under a happy sky, feeling harmony, not hostility in nature. I began not by feeling torn, but in plenitude. Men are convinced of your arguments, your sincerity, and the seriousness of your efforts only by your death. I am not made for politics because I am incapable of wanting or accepting the death of the adversary. The society based on production is only productive, not creative. To ensure the adoration of a theorem for any length of time, faith is not enough. A police force is needed as well. The role of the intellectual cannot be to excuse the violence of one side and condemn that of the other. Every time somebody speaks of my honesty, there is someone who quivers inside me. The desire for possession is insatiable, to such a point that it can survive even love itself. To love, therefore, is to sterilize the person one loves. I have never been able to renounce the light, the pleasure of being, and the freedom in which I grew up. Conscious of not being able to separate myself from my time, I have decided to become part of it. After all, Every murderer, when he kills, runs the risk of the most dreadful of deaths, whereas those who kill him risk nothing except promotion. All modern revolutions have ended in a reinforcement of the power of the state. Men are never really willing to die except for the sake of freedom. Therefore, they do not believe in dying completely. The absurd depends as much on man as on the world. For the moment, it is all that links them together. Methods of thought, which claim to give the lead to our world in the name of revolution, have become, in reality, ideologies of consent and not of rebellion. To assert in any case that a man must be absolutely cut off from society because he is absolutely evil amounts to saying that society is absolutely good, and no one in his right mind will believe this today. Every man needs slaves like he needs clean air. To rule is to breathe, is it not? And even the most disenfranchised get to breathe. The lowest on the social scale have their spouses or their children. 